Hi there, today I'm out in this beautiful woodland and I'm going to be using two of the UK's native trees, willow and elder, to show you how we can make some charcoal pencils. Now we're using elder and willow because the properties of these trees just make them perfect for making pencils. The willow in particular is very, very straight. If we're gonna make pencils, then we need a, a straight piece of wood. It also is fantastic for making charcoal. And the elder has this wonderful property where in the center of the elder, we have this soft pith. An elder can be used for all kinds of nature crafts because we can hollow the center of it out and remove that pith. So we're gonna remove the pith to make the casing of the pencil. We're gonna make some charcoal on the campfire and we're gonna place the charcoal inside the elder to make our very own nature pencil. So to begin with, we're going to put a couple of holes in the top of our tin. This tin is going to be used for making the charcoal. So we're going to take our palm drill and we're just going to press on. So we're left with a, a tin that has just got two holes just like so. And then I'm going to take the length of willow and before we put it into the tin we're just going to use our sacateurs just to take the the bark from it just try taking the top layer off you can use a fixed blade knife to do this as well if you would like instead of the sacateurs Well, I'm going to cut pieces of charcoal that are the same length as the tin. Four pieces of willow, which has been whittled, the bark removed. And we're just going to place them inside the tin. And then close the lid. Like so. so this tin with the um, whittled willow is now going to go into the fire. Now as the fire is burning with your willow inside the tin, it's okay to pile sticks on top of it and put the tin directly into the fire, but make sure that you can see the holes. The heat of the fire will determine how long it takes for the willow to turn into charcoal. Keep your eye on it and remember, once the smoke stops coming out of the holes, it's time to safely remove it. So while the charcoal is making we can move ahead and begin to do the pencil so you're going to need a length of elder and on the elder you're going to notice that it has these little sections where branches um, will grow off the main stem it's important that we cut between these sections we're also going to need a temp peg or something similar and <clears throat> the aim of this section here is to remove this white pith from the center here. So just using my temp peg, I'm just gonna put it in and push away from myself. Just like so. And then when the charcoal is ready, the charcoal is gonna slide through this hole and then we'll whittle the end. Another important tip as well is that when you're making your fire, be sure to use an alternative wood to elder. Don't chop the elder for making the pencil and then put it in the fire. Legend has it that people would say you could tell when people were burning elder wood in their houses because you could see the devil dancing on their chimney. And that is because the smoke from um, elder wood when you burn it is poisonous to humans. So never burn elder wood in a confined space. So once the, the smoke has stopped coming out of the holes in the tin of the charcoal, you can remove it safely. And we just open it up. And there inside, we have our charcoal. And I'm just gonna put it in like so. 
If it snaps, then as we use it, we just use the knife to sharpen it. Okay, I'm going to pop a little bit more. And then I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to whittle the end of it away. Now what can happen as well is when you apply pressure the, the charcoal can push through. So the way that we can overcome that is just cut a little piece of willow that uh, acts as a plug and we just pop that into the end just like so. An elder pencil made our own charcoal out of willow, made our own pencils um, outer with the elder and also a little stopper with the willow as well so easier to buy a pencil in the shops but nowhere near as much fun to come out into the woodlands and to make your own pencil using two of the uk's native trees hope you've enjoyed this video we'll see you again next time thanks bye